Right, I have a cure for monumental neck dive. And in particular, I'm going to be showing this on my, do my two guitars, which are a Thunderbird Pro V and any any Warlock guitar, but this one is a Vortex ICS5, I think. Can't remember. 34 inch scale neck, huge neck dive. Although not as bad as this one. Despite this one weighing a hell of a lot less, it's because of the strap button positions. So I've moved this one, the back one, from here, all the way in here, because I wanted my position of playing while stood up. I wanted it further right so that it's more as if I'm sat down. Uh, it's where I like to play, it's more comfortable for me, but that's up to you. Uh, as long as you've got this strap button higher than this one, you're going to give much more support to the neck. Uh, some people some people like to use one of the, the bolts from the neck for an actual strap. Well, it's a good idea. Um, but the further in that you've got this one, the more support that it's going to give to the neck. And it pulls it more right. I just find it better. So, they're the two new positions. That's the old position up there. I don't know if you can see. And that one move to there and there and that one's got no neck dive whatsoever and a very nice playing position tilts the neck right up where, you, where I personally like having it and uh, then there's this one which is probably the scarier one because it's a neck through guitar and a th yeah five piece neck and people are probably going to be quite scared about you know moving a screw in there. Uh, the only thing that you've got to worry about is not hitting this join. Providing that you stay away from that, I've gone into this black piece of wood, I don't know what it is. Uh, got it as close to the middle as possible, and that way it's going to give lots of support to the neck. It's and uh, this one's back up here. So they're going to try and balance each other out, and give much better support to the neck. This also being so far in, it's going to pull it further right. Better playing position for me, but that's that's up to personal preference. You're going to want big drill bit. I've personally done them by hand because uh, I don't like the idea of taking a drill to my guitar. Well, not for this anyway. Um, big drill bit so that you, when you're screwing in, you're not going to crack all your um, all your paintwork, all your varnish. You just want to get through that to the wood and you should be able to identify the wood because you'll see the different layers so every so often just blow it out and, and have a look and then once you get into the wood if you're worried about splitting the wood you can use a thinner drill bit thinner than your screw to just go into your wood so that it's it's the screw's still going to get a grip on your wood and it's still going to get some good threads in there but it's not going to apply shed loads of pressure and, and pull it apart um, and that's about it. Have fun.